the way you operated in Africa, uh, the system has been that you pay us a wage to extract our wealth from the earth, our natural resources, our minerals, our gold, our diamonds, and so on. You pay us a wage to extract all of that for you, to hand it over to you. And we're supposed to be grateful to you for giving us jobs. You gave us the job of digging up our buried treasures and giving them to you. That's our job. The term should be, uh, you can extract our resources for a wage. And those resources will remain in our lands to be refined and processed and used in manufacturing in our lands for our companies. And we will uh, sell the products that we make from our resources to you. Not the current situation where uh, we take out our resources from the earth, give them to you for you to process, for you to refine, and for you to use in manufacturing to make products by your companies that then you sell to us. Now, this is backwards. That makes no sense. I mean, it makes sense to you. It makes sense for you, obviously. Because you have no respect for the values of fairness and sovereignty. And this should apply to our human resources as well. Because you do the same thing uh, with our labor as you do with our natural resources. You extract our labor uh, for your companies, for your products, and for your profits. And all we get is the wage. And the privilege uh, of not even being able to afford at that wage to buy the products that we make for you. So no, that has to stop. Our labor for our companies, our products, our goods and services, and you can purchase that from us. Oh, we're commandeering your great reset. We're going to reset your reset. Because your great reset was just a revival of colonization and slavery. And that's not going to work anymore. And okay, if that means that our minerals must stay in the ground until we reach a higher level of manufacturing capacity, so be it. Because we can drop tools indefinitely. We can stop digging, we can stop drilling, we can stop mining, we can stop extraction until we have our own refining, we have our own processing, and we have our own manufacturing capacity. That's not a problem. We can do that. Now, if you can't wait, uh, we're saying you can invest, but in our companies, invest in our development, invest in our industry to get our capacity up to speed. And if one of your companies wants to work on extraction of our minerals and resources, that's fine too. But you're going to do it for a wage, not for a share of the minerals. We'll pay you for your labor. We'll pay you for your services. The same way that you're paying us a wage for our services now. I mean, when you hire someone to dig a well, you know, for water, you pay him for his work. You pay him to dig the well. He doesn't get to take the water in perpetuity. If you hire someone uh, who owns a moving truck to move your furniture from one house to another, Okay, you hire him because he happens to own the truck. So he has the, uh, the tools, he has the equipment that you don't have, and you need him to do that. So you pay him for the service, but he doesn't get to keep your furniture. So like, for example, if you want to drill oil, uh, okay, drill it, extract it, and we'll pay you for the service. But you don't get a share of the oil. You still have to buy that. Be reasonable. And if that's unacceptable for you, uh, then you'll just have to wait until we have the capacity to drill it ourselves, to extract it ourselves, without you. You just have to wait. See, you made us already accustomed to minimum subsistence, so we can cope with it. Because of the way you've treated us, we're used to this. So we can weather an economic slowdown, you can't. It's only a slowdown for you, not for us. For us, it'll be exactly the same. Because we're not getting anything uh, from, the, from, from uh, your extraction in the first place. So if we stop extracting, you're the only one who's going to lose. Repayment. All our monies are going into the loan repayment. We look at it. And then we are not paying tax. All big, big corporates are not paying tax. or revenue and now it's the tax. Where you mean, okay, see, now look at the IRC making money. Stop everyone with LNG. I'm going to say, Fortnite, no man, Marina. Can't get no man, Marina. Fuel price, no. Goods and service tax, no. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, money, no. Okay, see, money, no. Put in, no. 7 billion, 8 billion, no. Make him... When I'm revenue, not putting about the money people, people, that's why we have the high inflation in Papua New Guinea. You look at these are the cause of all the economic issues in Papua New Guinea. So, me talk about conscious and law imposing more than a problem. We should review that. Countries should change the law of the production setting agreement. You should give free ownership percentage here because some country we are an independent state, we are not ruled by the queen anymore. Now, that is like when I'm conscious and lawyer looking, when people are buying me, okay, now the wife go for you, me to awesome. You make it 55 percent. Marabu government, all 55 percent now. All got all. 
Morobe party man that started, I, you, you don't know, time to buy him, say, come out for the money lower, 55 percent, eh? Look, it's only 20 percent, 10 percent, that's only you may put him. I'm a 10 years tax, I'm saying, 10 years, no, I've driven a dividend. People buy him 6 billion, 10 billion, run down, stop, eh? 55 percent, eh? You think, why go buy him the 20 billion, eh? And buy him some lower. Papa, you can go to the next one, tax, but people buy one up again, eh? Inflation, but go high again, fuel price, but one up again, because I'm buying him money, but I'm saying, eh? Look at so these are the issues we are talking about. The concession lawyer, look, I'm killing me blood. Law blow me blood, killing me blood. We are using a wrong law. Law well, white man, Germany me blood again blood. Queen, Germany me blood again blood. So this nation has to change that law now. We put the come out, whatever government you stop, this law lawyer has to be changed. The concession has to be changed. Because before the Murug LNG, Penang LNG, or Narla Navatinga, or Frida Mine, or Wafi Gofi, or this law before this project is coming up, this law has to be changed. We need to go into production sharing now. But then on us too, look, two percent solely because you know, yeah, no international law according to API, API standard laws so called standards across the world, we also pay more land on us royalties, yeah. No, I mean, seven to ten percent. Some blah, I'm also 15, 11, 12, 13, or something, but minimum, the minimum range is seven to ten percent. But when you give me some two percent stuff, it takes him there, you can say one percent or even zero point five stuff. Look, this is not a lawyer, all tricky me blast stuff. Land on us would give him seven to ten percent. Government, you should give him default ownership share, blue, yeah, 20 to 30 percent, eh? according to the PSA agreement. But maybe you should consist in lawyer, law, blue, queen, eh? look, I'm a German, I'm a the British, I'm a tricky, I'm a black, I'm a independence, I'm a then law, law, I'm a black, I'm a black, I'm a black, and we did not change that. How much the schoolman come now? How much the lawyer come now? How much the petroleum engineer come now? How much the department is black, right? But we should fix this lawyer. This is the cause of all the economic issues in Papua New Guinea. Now, now got the project come here, you look at him. Pogger mine 51 percent. Then Bambla go him loan again. And no money in Bambla to go tax exemption for the next 20 years. Come on, Barry Bambla to go and operate nothing now. You get some free money in the next 20 years. Eh? No one pay me blood dividend too. No one pay me blood tax to Bambla to Because we don't have money to buy him, say. Eh? What if you go for two or something? Eh? 55 percent of Bambla to go. You operate the like. You had Salim the like, kiss him money the like for the next 10 or 20 years. No one pay me blood too. Because we don't have the money to buy, pay 55 percent share stake. Look, Papua LNG 22 percent, we don't know what money in the middle of the 22 percent, we said 10 years, no tax, 10 years, they will load no dividends. So, what are dividends on Blavin? All the sales coming, we don't know what 10 years. 10 years, a public command when I get some of the money in Blavin. But, Sidanta, so let's tax to Banana Bay. Because you know what money by himself. Why Bamba by himself? I'm just going to be Because the law, law to Ocean, when I'm law, concession, concession law, law block Queen. So, this is the stupid thing. I'm slavery lawyer. I'm a local African nation or you must run a Venezuela go back up and how much the gold, how much the mine, how much the oil and gas done. Economy don't go back up, inflation go high because of this year. This is the concession law, la blame la. African nation happen like that. Look, no problem, you need to be black or something. So, how a government need law in my blow now? All the more resources you mean, you go and say, law investment, you mean like starting up, all got a mine now, all got a project, sir. And Bamba still need more money. Look, we will go out and look for billions. Bamba did not deny it. The more we deny, the more we are killing our people. We are killing this nation. You look at We have to change this law. Fucking them law, blah, blah, blah. Country, blah, blah, blah. This is our country. We have to put laws in our own rights. Melanesian law has to be there. You look at This is a Melanesian society. Why you mean queen lawyer? Solvent law, blah, blah. You mean the one of queen lawyer, commonwealth lawyer. You mean we Western money, blah, 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 blah. We have the ownership. You mean independent state, eh? So, me put the command law, this law, because the country and Bagrab, and me point them out. This is all, all to do with our resource laws. I'm resource law, blah, 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 that's the creation, that's the biggest loophole in the country economy, blah, blah, now. I'm so consumed, all got a sudden, and broke down, and that's the main big blah post to all them house, blah, blah, So, this is a big blah post, a central post, and broke down, all such a two broke nothing. So, this law law has to be fixed. You mean it, like, when you say agreement, the production setting agreement, concession law is fucking us. I repeat, this concession law need to be removed, PSA agreement need to be you mean no need to buy him share or buy him carry on a billion or 10, 20 billion or buy him sale or resource? We have to get default ownership. Look at him. According to a PSA agreement, or not the Malaysia, no Asian country, Kissim, Singapore, Kissim, Malaysia, Malaysia, Kissim, Mosom, Mokota, Asian, Kissim, no default ownership because only some PSA agreement. All those Arab talk non Western, so America, Australia. Look at him. All Africa, look at him. All go Arab talk non America, Australia, all European stuff, all diamond, all them is the same concession loan. Amas, all diamond, all gold, all cobalt, all there, all Kissim, but all non develop, all back up the same now, Papua New Guinea, you mean go to the same now. How much oil, how much gas, no blood, we go out, but how much gold go out, copper go out, we are not changing our economy, it's always dropping because of our concession law. The more we pull our resources out, the more we look for money to buy the share. Look, this is the loophole. 
So thank you very much. Me put the come out and that's the big issue. I'm meeting also in Fagimab country. So who said you man you harem, you forward him now. I think it's time we change some of our laws. Thank you. Good night.